Good morning, Arc Electric. This week's message is OSHA compliance. The topic, fire extinguisher training. So what are we going to learn? Uh, everyone will get a copy of this to share with all their employees. Please make certain that they do a DocuSign and get that information back to the head office. All right, Amanda or whoever Troy establishes. So, uh, choose the appropriate type of extinguisher, inspect and maintain. So, uh, when you're inspecting, what are you inspecting? I'll give you an example. You're looking uh, on the gauge to see that it's in the green. You're looking that the, the clip is on, all right, the seal. You're also looking at the structure of the, the outside of the fire extinguisher, no dents, cracks, stuff like that, okay? That is what you wanna look for. Also, there should be on there a tag that shows when it was inspected, which it, we should be inspecting it monthly, once a year, uh, a professional service. So, that's the inspection part of it. Uh, also, as long as I have it up here, uh, how long does one of these last? These average type of fire extinguishers will last you anywhere from seven to 10 seconds, all right? Depending on your size. So with that in mind, let us continue. Uh, different types of causes of fires that we should all be aware of, okay? Whether it's wood, paper, trash, open flame from static electric spark, chemicals, uh, it's all over the board. Uh, what causes a fire in the first place? Fuel does not ex ignite simulta spontaneously. It needs an outside source. Once ignited, the burning fuel is not e is hot enough to keep the fire going as long as there's fuel and oxygen enough to support the fire. Um, next, there are different types. Class A, B, C, D, e, K. All purpose, A, B, C. Uh, type A, wood, paper, plastic, garbage. Class B, grease, gas, oil, solvents. C, energized electric equipment, appliances, switches, panel boxes, power tools. D, combustible metals. Magnesium, titanium, uh, foric materials. Class K, kitchen fires added in 1998. Grandfathered if installed before 1998. Extinguishing the fire. Uh, remember one thing. Number one, it's voluntary to use. Number two, always fight a fire if, if you feel comfortable to fight the fire with the wind at your back. So it's always blowing the fire away from you. Smother the fire of uh, oxygen uh, with a blanket sometimes uh, if you need to. Uh, water extinguishers, rated for Class A fires. Spread a Class B fire, flammable liquids can float on water, spreading as they go. Grease fire may splatter, and never put water on a grease fire. Um, next, dry chemical extinguishers. Best all-around choice is your Class A, B, C. Uh, carbon dioxide, CO2 extinguishers. Uh, metal and sand extinguishers. Uh, class D, filled with powder, copper, sodium chloride. Um, next, um, uh, halotron uh, extinguishers. Uh, most places are not using those any longer. Water mist extinguishers, another type. So there's a lot of different types. Fight or flight decision. Do you evacuate or not? If in doubt, evacuate. Simple as that. Uh, a decision, a flight, you evacuate when the fire's large or has grown beyond the original confined space. Your escape is threatened. Uh, so never hesitate. We like using the, the, the point of remembering the word pass. It means this. Pull the pin, which is this. Pull the pin. Okay? We take the this the nozzle, and we aim at the fire. That is the base of the fire. And we squeeze the handle, and we sweep at the very bottom at the base of the fire. Pull, aim, 
squeeze the handle and sweep at the base of the fire. Um, so that is on fire extinguishers. Uh, there is a PowerPoint sent for everyone to use. Make sure again, everyone prints their name and signs their name and gets that back to uh, the direction of Troy. With that, have a great week. Thank you.